excited. Today is my birthday. It is January 9th. Does anyone have the same birthday as me? Or let me know in the comments down below if your birthday is also in January because I love having a January birthday. I love starting off my new year with a new age and I am super duper excited. I actually just washed my hair. That is why it looks super wet and my face looks really red. I always look red after a really hot shower or bath. And the reason I just showered is because I was wearing makeup earlier. I was wearing makeup because unfortunately I did have to work this morning for my birthday, which is never fun. But here I am and I am glad that I'm off work. And I'm just going to go ahead and start off with my L'Oreal Lumi Magic, which is a glowy radiant primer. I just love this one, especially because my skin is drier in the winter time. It would probably be more considered combination because it does have dry patches, but then it is still quite oily. I really like to pamper it and put moisturizing products on it during the winter time. And before I even started off with that primer, I spritzed my face with my Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water and I also put on my Origins Plant Description Anti-Aging Power Serum. So I really like to pamper my skin. And sorry if my voice is still a little bit croaky. I am still getting over being sick from last week. I actually lost my voice last week when I was at work, which was awful. But Thankfully, I'm getting it back now. Alright, so for my foundation today, I'm going to take the Mary Kay Time Wise Matte Liquid Foundation. And I take the color Ivory 5 during the winter time, just because I am quite a bit paler. So this is a super liquidy foundation. So I like to apply it on a palette, and then I will use a brush. I like it because it is quite natural and it doesn't look too cakey but just to make the color a tad bit warmer I'm going to take the true match and I'm just taking the tiniest tiniest bit of that just because this is a little too pale for my body it matches my face pretty well but for my body I need a little bit of this true match in W4 and I'm just going to be using my BH Cosmetics 117 brush by the way and I'm just going to apply this all over my skin. Like I said, this is quite a liquidy foundation. It does look pretty natural and I have been liking to wear it lately. I do like more of a liquidy foundation, um, especially during the winter months because I do feel like it's a little bit more moisturizing. Yesterday we actually started our birthday celebrations because if you don't know, which I'm sure most of you do know. Cassandra has her birthday on January 8th and I have my birthday on January 9th. So we've always just kind of celebrated together when we are able to. And we kind of like to joke around that we are twins. Some people, you know, buy into it and some people are straight up like, no, no way. But it's really fun and we always like to celebrate our birthdays together. So last night we started celebrating our birthdays together. We actually went out with family and we had a nice dinner with everyone and it was just super chill and really, really nice. We did have some drinks and I got a few pieces from Cameron's grandmother, she gave me this turquoise ring and she gave me this turquoise necklace as well as a turquoise headband, which I don't think I'll be wearing tonight. But I also got a few other things, but Cameron really loves turquoise on me, it's his favorite color for me to wear, so that's why she got me these items and I decided to wear them today. Alright, so like I said, that foundation is super, super lightweight and natural looking, but I do want my skin to look pretty flawless. I have literally nothing in this, but I'm going to try and squeeze out the tiniest bit if I can, because I love the coverage that this gives, and I just want to cover up some acne marks that are still showing through. This foundation really does not cover up anything. I do like how natural it looks, but I need a little extra coverage because I want my skin to look amazing for my birthday, of course. Alright, so I squeezed out a little tiny bit on that palette. I'm so glad I was able to get some. And then I'm taking this BH Cosmetics 120, which is, which is basically just a flat, dense eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to pat this on anywhere where I do have some imperfections, which mainly for me is around my chin and my jawline. Thankfully, I don't have any active acne right now, which is 
awesome. I don't have any active acne for my birthday, which is something you always want. And I'm just going to dab this on in those areas and then I will blend it in. I've decided that I want to add a little bit of a cream blush just because my skin does feel kind of dehydrated from being ill and just the winter months. So I'm going to take this bright hot pink color which is called Quickie and I'm just going to pat it on using my BH 116 brush and I'm just going to really pat this on very gently. You can really share these out or build up the pigmentation. And I'm super duper excited also because we're continuing our celebrations tonight so my husband is actually taking me out to eat and he's taking me to this little restaurant in our town that we've never been to before but his friend told him it was really nice so I'm so excited it's an Italian restaurant and I love Italian food so I am definitely very very excited and then we will be hanging out with friends afterwards so I'm going to make sure that my makeup will stay flawless for a long time I'm gonna go in with this Mary Kay mineral powder and it's also in ivory 5 Actually, I'm super lucky that I remember to do concealer. I'm going to take this Physicians Formula Concealer and I'm just going to really brighten underneath my eyes and I am going to do a triangle shape just because I do want a really highlighted, lifted look. This is more of a peach concealer, so it will really brighten and cancel out any dark circles. I just want my makeup to look as flawless as possible and I do want a lot of skin focus. So. To pat in my concealer, I'm just going to take this Real Techniques contour brush and I'm just going to pat this in underneath my eye and I'm also going to pat it in the inner corner of my eye a little bit just to make sure that there's no darkness. I'm not really sure what look I want to do. I kind of feel like I should do something blue because of the rain on the necklace even though I am wearing lime green. So I might not do something super bright and intense just because I don't want the blue to contrast with the lime green I might do something kind of neutral and subtle but with a pop of color and just really smoky and blended. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So to just set that concealer really quickly I'm going to take this Merle Norman Pearl and this is great for underneath and this is great for underneath the eyes. It's just a translucent slightly shimmering powder that just really highlights underneath the eyes and when I say shimmering I don't mean like chunky glitters it's like just a really nice glow that will make your eyes look really lifted and bright I don't even know if I'm describing this right but it just looks so natural but lumescent and pretty so now I've got some of that powder foundation in a cap and I'm going to go ahead and take that brush that I was talking about, the sculpting brush, and I'm just going to go ahead and buff this onto my skin very, very gently. I am going to go over the top of that blush as well because I don't want it to look too crazy pigmented and I'll probably put a powder blush on top as well. I'm just going to be applying a little bit of this. I don't want to go too overboard and cakey but I do want my makeup to look pretty flawless. So as for my eyebrows, I'm going to go ahead and use this Too Faced Bomb Bomb palette and I have been liking taking these two shades which are pretty neutral and I like to apply them to my brows. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that really quickly. I do want pretty bold brows today, nothing too crazy crazy, but I do want them to be bold and frame my face really nicely. Just to make my brows even more bold, I'm going to take my favorite brow product. This is the Maybelline Brow Drama in the color Soft Brown. This will set my brows in place just to make sure that they don't get all crazy throughout the night. And it also will give it a little bit more color. There's a little too much on the brush, so I'm just going to brush that off really quickly and then comb it through my brows. Alright, so I'm going to take a tiny, tiny bit of this and just dot it onto my eyelid just to act as a base for the eyeshadows that I put on. Like I said, I don't want it to be super crazy pigmented. I actually want it to be quite blended, but I am going to do like a smoky brown and blue eye, I've decided. 
Alright, so I'm going to go back into these two shades right here and I'm going to work these into my crease as my transition shade just because I've been liking using these two shades lately as my crease just because they're really nice and they warm up my skin tone and any other color that I pair on top of it will just blend out so nicely. So I'm just going to be using my BH Cosmetics 122 brush and I'm just going to blend this into my crease. I do want it to look pretty seamless and smoky but I do want that color there but I just don't want it to look too crazy harsh. And I'm just going to blend these two colors on together. I am making sure to get most of the color in the outer corner and blending most of it out towards my inner corner. I want it to be a little bit darker in my outer corner. Alright, next I'm going to go into this palette which I know isn't super duper pigmented. So I don't use it very often, but for this look I actually want something that's slightly a little bit more neutral. So I'm going to take this white shade and it's very very powdery so I don't again use it very often but I'm just going to pat this all over my eyelid and in the inner corner especially. So anywhere I didn't put that other color. Alright, now I'm going to go into that baby blue shade and I'm going to take the same brush that I blended with my crease and I'm going to blend this right below where I applied the brown earlier, so directly below that brown and just really smoke this into the crease. Alright, now I'm just going to go into that darker like turquoise blue and I'm going to blend this onto my outer corner. I want to just maintain this in kind of like a B type shape in my outer corner. And I'm just doing, going to blend this on. Alright, next color that I'm going to take is from the Comfort Zone palette. And I'm going to take the color that's similar to Blue Brown Pigment by MAC. Sometimes it looks blue and sometimes it looks brown depending on how the light hits it. And I got this palette from Jessica a while back and she calls it her mermaid shade just because it does have that blue brown pigment to it. And it's so beautiful so I'm definitely going to be applying this and I think I'm going to apply it just all over my eyelid where I don't have that blue shade already and I'm just going to blend this up to where that white shade is in my inner pupil. I don't want to be applying this in my inner pupil so I'm just going to be applying that all over. And then I'm going to go in with my brush once more and I'm just going to go back into that I'm going to call blue brown and I'm just going to smoke this underneath my lower lash line. And there's nothing really left on my brush, but whatever it is, I'm just going to blend around and just kind of smoke out those colors. Like I said, there's nothing really left on my brush, but I'm just going to blend out those colors a little bit more seamlessly so they're a little bit more smoky as well. And a little bit more of the blue in the outer corner. and blend it into the crease. I'm just going back into that white and patting on a little bit more just to make it really bright in the inner corner of my eye. Time for some falsies which I have used several times so they look a little nasty but these are just the kiss lashes and I'm going to apply them just to make my lashes look a lot more full. And I'm just going to take my handy dandy little eyelash doodad and I'm just going to place these on my lash line. Alright, so I got the falsies on and I decided I wanted to add a little bit more blue. I'm going to add a touch more of the baby blue in the very center and just blend those two colors together a little bit. And I'm not going to pack on too much, I just want a slight touch more of blue. So right in the very center, just going to pack that on and then just blend it out with my other finger just because I don't want it to be crazy super duper pigmented. I feel like no smoky look looks complete without a bold lower lash line. Alright, now let's finish off this face with some bourgeois bronzer, which one is... <laughs> 
which is one of my favorite bronzers. It's just so light and subtle, and I really love the packaging. It's super duper cute. I'm just applying it with this sculpting brush, and I'm just going to blend it all over my temples as well. I think I'm going to keep the base makeup quite subtle, so I'm not going to add any contour or anything, and I'm not going to add any extra blush. I like the cream blush. I'm just going to leave it like it is right now. Alright, so I fibbed. I'm going to take the tiniest, tiniest bit of contour, but I don't want anything too crazy. I just want a little bit of definition in my cheekbones, but I don't want to go too overboard. And I'm just going to blend this out. I want my face makeup to look fairly natural. Nothing too crazy pigmented or defined. Just really, really super subtle. It's NARS Raquel. It's probably my go-to lipstick and I just love the formula of this. It glides on so smoothly and the color is amazing. Alright, so here is the finished makeup look. I absolutely love it. I'm going to go ahead and style my hair. Hopefully it won't be too dark when I come back and I'll show you. And then I'm also going to do my outfit, but that might be in a different video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll just do a close up really quickly before I style my hair. enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up I'll make sure to link other birthday videos down below and I'm about to shoot my outfit so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys on the next one Bye.